Hey everybody, this is Brad with Lost at Last Adventure Travel and welcome to episode two. Recently, I did a little soul searching, but not the soul searching you're probably thinking of. I went down to the Southern Ohio Adventure Loop, otherwise known as the Soul. Today we're gonna take the adventure motorcycle down along the western edge of the Appalachian Plateau. So strap on your helmet, we're heading to Greenfield, Ohio. Well, hello everybody. This is Brad with Lost at Last Adventure Travel and thank you so much for joining me. I am just outside of Greenfield, Ohio on a beautiful day to ride the adventure motorcycle in the Buckeye State. This is Memorial Day weekend 2022 and well, let's say it didn't get off to such a hot start. I went camping last night and yeah, the bike fell over and it was wet and I was slipping around trying to get it all picked up and whoo boy was it a mess but uh, it is a beautiful sunny day today and this is one of my favorite adventure routes in all of Ohio so a little history on this route in 2019, a user by the name of MotoJunkie21 posted a thread on ADVRider.com, which, for those who aren't familiar with ADVRider.com, it is a website that is strictly for adventure motorcycle enthusiasts. It has everything from adventure motorcycle reviews uh, to gear to different routes that people oh my gosh this guy was super duper close to me you gotta really watch out for people when you're out on the road on on two wheels but yeah it's a big forum where adventure motorcyclists get blah, together and uh and write different stuff so moto junkie 21 posts a thread called i've got soul where he posts this awesome route, the Southern Ohio Adventure Loop, and ever since its inception, it's been very popular here in Ohio, uh, particularly because it's really close to Columbus or Cincinnati. So right now we're riding on Cave Road. Uh, just outside of Bainbridge, Ohio, home to the first dental school in the United States. But uh, Cave Road is is really uh, just a fun road that kind of introduces you to this area of Ohio, which sits on the western edge of the Appalachian Plateau. Uh, here on Cave Road, you'll find the Highlands Nature Sanctuary, as well as the Appalachian Forest Museum. I have not had a chance to stop into the museum. They kind of got some weird hours, but someday we'll get down here and I'd sure like to do some hiking at the Highlands Nature Sanctuary. Maybe we'll do an adventure report on it. You're also going to find a lot of people uh, walking around on this road. Uh, the Nature Sanctuary and the museum are pretty close and you just really got to be careful uh, with the traffic and also the people on the road so just make sure you ride right and you ride slow so let's take a look at the map so the southern ohio adventure loop begins and ends in greenfield which is a great place for it to start because of its close proximity to Columbus and Cincinnati and Dayton you can generally be down here in about an hour and a half to two hours depending on where you are and start your ride so Moto Junkie 21 recommends to take the route counterclockwise so that's what we're doing today the main route is highlighted in blue Expert sections are in red, an optional route through the Shawnee State Forest is in green, 
and the yellow is a newer addition to the trail. It is a connector to the Trans-Ohio Trail, which, if you follow the channel, we're using that to get over and complete our Great Ohio Adventure Trail. But we're going to stick to the main route today. Uh, the whole route is great to take in, so part one, we're going to be heading down to the Blue Creek General Store. Part two will be our traversing of the Shawnee State Forest, and part three will be heading back up on the east side. scenery back here is incredible. We're actually coming up upon a little uh, rock overhang, which is a required spot for a selfie when you drive through here. If you're lucky enough while traveling on this part of the Southern Ohio Adventure Loop, you may run into a horse and buggy or two. And it's always good to smile and wave. Typically when I come through this area, I see maybe one or two horse and buggies, but on this particular day, the road was full of them. This area isn't well known for the Amish culture, but there is a very active Amish community down here. So when you're riding, be respectful, keep your eyes on the road, and watch out for the horse crap. has been fascinated with the Amish community. The first Amish people in Ohio arrived in the early 1800s. Although most of them are still in Northeast Ohio, there's some down here in Southern Ohio. To this day, most of the Amish still earn their living through agriculture. Most Amish refuse to use any of the modern day conveniences that we enjoy such as automobiles, electricity, and phones. These people live a simple life and, well, sometimes simple's good. They know how to stay away from the negativity of the world. Maybe there's a thing or two we could learn from the Amish community. these horse and buggies were coming from. Church just let out. A little further down the road, is Bacon Flat Road. 
Located just off of Ohio State Route 73, it's a road that would be easily missed if you weren't looking for it, but it is home to a pretty special place in Adams County, the Chalet Navale Nature Preserve. It's home to some outstanding geological scenery and botanical treasures. It also has two of Ohio's cleanest streams, which means that they possess a high diversity of fish species for their size, exceptionally clean water, and a high production of aquatic insects and invertebrates. The conservation efforts of the Nature Preserve have ensured that the excellent water quality of its splendid streams will be protected for all time. Now rolling up to Ohio State Route 32, which is of course where the good stuff starts. If you don't have time to do the whole route, I would certainly suggest starting here, at the intersection of Portsmouth Road and State Route 32. Now we're going to fast forward here a little bit. Suzuki doesn't put a 6th gear on the DR650, but we imagine this is what it would look like if they did. Welcome back. This is Beaver Pond Road. This little section here basically goes around the perimeter of the GE Aviation Testing Area, which is right here in Adams County. Apparently there's fighter jets from time to time, although I haven't ran into any yet. I really like Beaver Pond Road in this section because the gravel is super smooth. There's a couple potholes that, you know, you gotta swerve and avoid them, so it's like a little obstacle course, but yeah. On a motorcycle, I can kick it up to about fourth gear and just ride it out. This is a really fun paid section of the soul. This is Mineral Springs Road. Get you some real nice twisty pavement and curves going uphill if you're going counterclockwise in a very enjoyable section. And we'll hang a left here on Peach Mountain Road. If you're worried about soul searching on a Sunday, don't worry. There's a church right on the route. This is another road that is smooth and easy going. I really love just to ride this road and clear my head and soak in all the nature that you can find on this route. Southern Ohio Adventure Loop is definitely the place I like to go. Sometimes you just need to escape the negativity.
Oh look, here comes somebody on a Yamaha Tenere 700. Yeah, I do the motorcycle wave out here too. Well, before we get to the best part of the video, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We got to hand it over to our sponsors here, and when I say sponsors, we're a pretty new channel, so it's just us. But we'll be right back with the Beach Fork Road Creek Crossings. Oh yeah, I just forgot how to ride my motorcycle for a second. We'll be right back, right after this quick message. Are you tired of watching the same old boring YouTube video? Well, don't worry. We've got great news for you. Here at Lost at Last, we're going to take you to some really exciting places, the places that most people wouldn't want to go to. But we need your help. Please consider becoming a subscriber today that helps us create more content for you guys so we can explore these awesome places. Thank you so much for your support. Like, comment, subscribe. Back to the action. Welcome back to sunny Southern Ohio. This is Beach Fork Road and probably the best road of this entire first section. Now, most of the loop you could actually do in a passenger car. Believe me, I've done a lot of it in a Chevy Cruze. But this road I would not do in a passenger car. I would recommend a high clearance vehicle or an adventure motorcycle because this road contains two water crossings. But this section right here is spectacular because this area is often referred to as the Little Smokies. I think it's because the trees or the plants let off the same blue haze that the Smoky Mountains down in North Carolina and Tennessee let off, but as you ride down this road, you just get that same vibe, you know, with the hills and trees and all the green around you. Alright, so we're coming up upon the first of two water crossings on this road. Now something my editors didn't tell me, and when I say editors I mean just me, they didn't tell me that it rained about three inches this past week, so this one's a little high. Here we go. Find a line and power through, baby. Oh, almost lost it. All right. We're going to skip on ahead to the next water crossing, which is just up the road here a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe the other one was the harder one, and this is the easier one. But, you know, it's all about... Uh, finding your line and just powering through. Momentum is everything when it comes to these creek crosses. There's a pretty famous creek crossing down in uh, western, eastern Tennessee, excuse me, uh, Whit Road. This is Ohio State Route 348, and here comes my favorite view on the whole route. This 
Spectacular. Now there is a third creek crossing right off of State Route 348, but the water was a little high, so we skipped that one this time, but look for it in a future episode. This is State Route 125. This is the road that takes you to the Shawnee State Park, but we've turned the other way because we're heading to grab a bite to eat at our favorite restaurant on the Southern Ohio Adventure Loop. It's the Blue Creek General Store. If you need a pound of bologna, cable ties, and a septic pump for your RV, but it can only go to one place, this is the place. Awesome guys, that's gonna wrap it up for section one of the Southern Ohio Adventure Loop. Sure hope you'll join me on parts two and part three down the road and look forward to seeing you on the trail. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for episode two. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember that adventure travel was made for everybody. We'll see you out on the trail.